Okay, we're back with uh, another video about uh, WiseView, which is uh, a very uh, handy, very convenient tool if you're looking for um, uh, brown growths and uh, planets. Uh, WiseView was made by Dan Kazelden and Paul Westin. Um, and uh, if you must absolutely use this site uh, if you... Um, yeah, if you're hunting a brown dwarf, because it will it will dramatically improve your and speed up your uh, your hunt. So, um, Wiseview is using the same images and uh, as a backyard world, uh, which is the Wise telescope. Wise telescope is a uh, is a space telescope that uh, is taking pictures of all sky every year in infrared. And um, uh, there are um, so a lot of pictures. Uh, every year, uh, and uh, it's, uh, you have many ways to um, to uh, stack to arrange this image together. And um, Wise View and Backyard Worlds are using exactly the same source. The, the, those uh, those images. So here's the site. Um, uh, so you notice that you have uh, uh, on the left panel um, all the the settings. Uh, which uh, I will um, uh, explain uh, further. So uh, first, you notice that you have uh, uh, you are invited to um, to uh, fill in the coordinates, uh, right ascension and declination. So first of all, uh, be careful. Um, you uh, must write them in decimal coordinates uh, and not. Uh, pour les Français, vous mettez pas de pas de virgule. Hein, C'est des points. And uh, it's not in sexadecimal coordinates. You know, like hours, minutes, and, uh, and seconds. No, it's decimal in degree. For the field of view, um, uh, the minimum, my opinion, the minimum is 60. Uh, you can set a minimum to 60 arc seconds. Um, but you can do basically as you, as you, want, as you wish, and you can... Uh, you can adjust uh, adjust later. And for your information, uh, Backyard Wars flipbooks are very big. It's 700 arc seconds. Now the bands, uh, wise, uh, the WISE telescope are the four, has four bands, W1, W2, W3, W4. But WISE view only uses W2 and uh, W1. So uh, you have three choices. Um, it displays W1 and W2 in black and white. And uh, it can stack them together in, uh, to give you uh, color image, images, um, which are very convenient. Uh, for example, if you're looking for cold, uh, cold stuff, cold brown growth, like, uh, like shown uh, in the, this picture, where, where you have um, a wide growth, uh, which is W2 only, and it will appear in orange. There are other settings. Uh, my recommendation is to uh, don't think uh, about them too much uh, and uh, just uh, keep, keep them uh, as, uh, as shown here. Gray, uh, fixed, uh, linear set to one, uh, and trim bright, uh, very low. Okay, now we enter the, the big, big part, the modes. Um, I, I already told you that you, you had uh, um, very deep, uh, you had different ways to. Um, Manipulate the images and stack them in different uh, different order. So um, first of all, you have to understand uh, how the Wise telescope uh, works. It's orbiting around the Earth, and the, the orbit is always perpendicular to the sun. So it never points to the sun. Okay. So if the Earth were 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 still, basically, it's only uh, it would take pictures. Uh, in the form of a very thin stripe in the sky. But because the Earth is spinning around the Sun, uh, it will progressively, during one, one year, uh, take pictures of all the sky, cover the old, the old sky. But you notice that um, um, basically it only takes six months to cover the old sky because one point in the sky one, uh, is taken twice a year. And uh, one, uh, for example, on the left with the red arrow, and one six months later with the blue arrow. Why is that? It's because, um, for example, here, let's say uh, in, you are in February, you are, the, the telescope is uh, on the ascending forward position. 
And because it's spinning, six months later, in August, you will have also the same image uh, taken with the backward, or we can say descending position. So, um, basically what, uh, what the WISE telescope is providing uh, is this. First February this year, then August, then February, and so on. So, first of all, let's look at, take a look at the at the, the mode the first mode time resolved it's not very um, it's not very uh, very useful but uh, basically it does a very simple thing it gives you it animates all the images uh, every six months okay so you have an animation you you will uh, you you can uh, check this you have an animation of every um, Every uh, every epoch, every six months. Next, you have the full depth, um, the full depth mode. So, what it does is, it is stacking uh, all the images together. First one, uh, you will say it, it's called always. It's um, referring to the first epoch in two thousand and ten, and then it will add the new one. Uh, the year are maybe not uh, not uh, correct, but you get the idea. And it adds Neo one images, and then Neo two images, and then Neo three. So here it's not it's everything is stacked progressively. So again, this this was a very the one of the first mode in the in Wise View, but it's not very um, not very useful now. We have a better better modes now. So um, I suggest not to use it use it, not to use it. Now the prepost is um, much more interesting. Prepost. What is prepost? Pre pre what and post what? Uh, we are referring to the wise hibernation. There has been a, uh, an issue in the, with the telescope, so he uh, he had to uh, hibernate. Uh, so by pre we are referring to 2010 before uh, before the problem, and post post is after. Okay, it's easy. So um, this uh, prepost is a uh, mode is uh, providing an, uh, an animation with two images pre and post. It's very uh, this oh, ask, sorry. Okay, so um, this mode is interesting. You can definitely use um, now. Now the much more interesting modes are the window mode. What is a window? Window is a time window. Um, you see that we can set the the duration of the window from uh, six months to three years. For example, you can you can set one uh, set one year or two years, and then when you uh, when uh, once you have uh, this uh, set, you can launch the launch the the animation. And for example, if we take window one year. It will animate like this: one year, one year, one year, one year, one year, one year. Okay, and so on. And this mode, window one year, is for me the best uh, mode for uh, for motion checking. And it's also uh, the Dan Kazaldan, the creator of Wise View, uh, favorite. So uh, definitely the mode you the, you want to use for. Um, for brand wolf uh, hunting. Now we have um, interesting modes about uh, parallax modes. Um, you you saw that um, we have um, per year two images, forward, backwards, or ascending and descending, always distant from um, each other from uh, for six months. So if you know about if you um, I suppose you know what parallax is. Um, this mode will be uh, interesting if you are looking for a close, very close object, for example, like Planet X, um, because you um, this time you will be able to um, to use the parallax uh, to uh, to check for for objects. First mode, uh, you see that something called parallax cancelling forward. Uh, what it does is only animating 
the forward imaging. And it's the same, of course, for our backward. Not very useful, but uh, another. If you are, if you want to look for Planet X, for example, I suggest you use the parallax enhancing mode. Uh, this time, you have all the forward modes, uh, the forward image uh, images uh, stacked together, animated with the backward. So you have this backward, forward, backward, forward. So uh, if you have Planet X. Uh, in the in the screen, basically you 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 will have something like this. You see, you notice the the blue dot in the middle. Okay, you see that it has uh, a different position in a forward and backward. Okay, this one is not Planet X. Uh, it's it's, a, it's an artifact, but it's basically what you are supposed to see if you are if you see an object um, very close using this mode this parallax enhancing mode and for your inform information planet x is 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 supposed to be um, orange oh sorry okay now we have uh, covered uh, almost all the all the modes um, what to if if you are look if you are using uh, backyard words how how can you use the um, wise view okay for now for this uh, we'll go directly to backyard world here uh, you see uh, a flipbook and uh, let's suppose that you um, you notice here a small dipole okay you're interesting but you, it, it, it's always difficult to get the the precise coordinates. So, uh, I want to check if this is really uh, moving. So, what you can do is going to the clicking on the information button, and you notice here you have a wise view link, and everything is stacked. Everything is a uh, is a uh, prefilled. Sorry. So you notice here uh, you have you have already your uh, um, your image. You notice here field of view seven hundred. And okay, uh, what to do next? Uh, this image corresponds to the flipbook. It's exactly the, the flipbook. So we have our image, uh, our object here, and okay, we, we are we are, we are gonna try to. Uh, okay, this is our object. So now, magic trick: you simply click on it, just a click, and now it will be in the center of the image. This is a, a wonderful trick that uh, that Dan uh, did. But it's very very convenient, and now you can easily have your coordinates, your exact coordinates. Now what you can do is, is um, set the field of view uh, much much smaller, and maybe maybe zoom. Okay, and you okay, and you have your you have your uh, your object. Okay, here it's a very bright star, so it's not an object of interest. Uh, I'm going to show you. You can you can also have the um, the color image W1 W2. Okay, you notice here that by default it's window one year. Border epoch. If you click, it will display a border uh, on the first epoch, 2010. If it's if it's too too uh, too quick, you can lower the speed, lower the frame rate. Okay. Next, what you have on um, on wise view here, nearest universe subject. If you want, if you are here, and you, uh, for example, you want to to see what's on the left, you can you can go here and click. On the subject, and you have a link on one of the flipbooks surrounding. Okay, this is this is the, the this is the the exact flipbook, uh, the same flipbook. But you can click on the, on the next one. And you will have, okay, the flipbooks probably the, the one on the on the left. Okay, so that's all. Uh, let me know if you have questions in the comments below. Uh, I'll be happy to, to respond. 
Uh, and uh, again, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dan Kazelden, for this wonderful tool. Uh, and uh, and uh, okay, see you guys. <laughs>